Hello everybody, my name is Acrisius, and welcome to another Let's Play. Today is day three of my uh, challenge to myself where I'm going to be posting a video every day. Today we're going to be doing Merchant. It's an app I found a while ago. Uh, it consumed a lot of my life when I found it. It's a really, really fun game. Um, it's available on both the Android and the Apple App Store in case you want to check it out. It's really fun. Um, I wanted to start a new, uh, a new profile or start a new game to show you, but I'm kind of far in this one. So I decided not to, and I'll just show you what I'm doing right now and explain how the game works. So this is basically an RPG type game, except instead of playing as the hero, you're playing as the merchant that sells to the heroes, uh, which is a really cool idea to me so you start out with one character i decided to start out with the mage and um you can buy with in-game money uh here i have twenty-one thousand um gold coins uh more heroes the first one you get is free the second one might also be free uh and then each one costs increments more and more um, the next one's going to cost 128,000 gold coins if I ever decide to buy another one. I have quite a few already. Um, you send them out on quests to gather resources. So I just actually had all these go to this boss quest. Um, bam and bam. Can I have you in the back, please? Just switch, just, just switch. Sometimes it's a little finicky with the buttons, but not often. So he's almost dead, but since he leveled up, he has full health, so I can just send him right back. When you get resources from them, it goes into your inventory. Your inventory is about this page, probably half this page at first, and you're able to use your gold coins to purchase more slots. Like this, it costs 10,000. I don't want to quite do that yet, because when I was playing last, money was an issue. Space was an issue too, but money was a bigger issue. But you get all these different items from completing quests and you take them over to these craftsmen and you can have the craftsmen create new or uh, like finished items from, so he has Adam and Chunk, from the resources you gather. So one of my people gathered this. And I can go ahead and have him make a sheet metal out of it. I'm going to go ahead and have him make a wand. Here they have thread, so I can have them make some cloth. And you start out with just these basic five uh, craftsmen, and then you can buy a jeweler and an enchanter later. The scribe is actually new. Since the last time I've been playing, they updated it. Um, I haven't got that yet. I actually have spent money on this game. Um, that's how much I like it. I almost never spend money on free games. But this one, I did. Right now I'm just going to collect everything and send them back out on their quests. Because I am in World 3. There are... I don't know whether to call it World or Land. Let me just show you here real quick. There are three different areas. This is the beginning area, and each person you have to be a certain level to get to. And every ten levels you're able to go to a new area. So you start here, then you move here. Then when you hit level 20, uh, you can get to this area. And then I've been to the level 30 area before, but I don't have it unlocked for any of my characters because I prestiged all of them. All of them except for this cleric. Uh, he hasn't been prestiged yet. He's just now uh, hitting this. And I think you can only prestige at level 30 if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm going to have him go ahead and do these missions. I'm basically having them farm until he gets up to level 30. And then if I can prestige them all again when they get to 30, I will. If not, I'll just prestige him and then move them all back to the first world because I end up with not enough inventory because each world has its own 
they're all versions of the same thing. You all have metal ore, metal chunks, uh, logs, and thread you can find, but they're all higher quality in each world, and they each take up different uh, inventory slots. That's one reason that inventory was such a problem for me, is I had multiple people in multiple different worlds farming, and I didn't have the inventory space for that. If the craftsman finished something, uh, when you get to this page, you'll get a notification. Here, the woodworker actually just finished. Bam. And you can actually look and see all the recipes, or everything you can create so far. And I'll show you the type of materials you get in World 4, which I haven't been to yet. Or, not since I prestiged everybody. You get magma materials and you basically click on an item so this dark steel dagger and you need two dark steel i actually haven't got to that world yet did i make it to world five before i probably did this is the uh items i can make in this area so say i want to make this knife here i need a lower tier knife and these materials Bam, I'm going to make a long sword. Whenever I do create items that I don't need, uh, you do the whole purpose you have this game, which is selling. Here I have the Adam and Axe. I have no need for it. All my characters have really high up gear, or the highest gear they can hold at the moment. So I'm just going to sell that. It's going to take 6 minutes and 54 seconds to sell. Not everything takes that long. Um, the more... The more expensive it is, the higher tier it is, it takes longer to sell. You can sell anything that's in your inventory. So I can take one of these potions here and sell one, which will take 25 seconds. Or I can sell up to all the 116 that I have. But I'm just going to sell 20, and that's going to take 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Whenever they're done selling, that'll be uh, up here. And if I don't want to wait that amount of time, I could actually click on these guys some want to buy and I think I can find one here that wants to hmm actually I have no use for that so I'm gonna sell it to him um I can do it for the price he's offered which is 551 and I get 120 experience for this uh for this specific merchant that I'm selling to because I sell to other merchants I could actually raise the price and I'll get less experience, or I can lower the price, and I'll get more experience. Um, I believe the more experience you get, the more they're willing to buy things for later on. I'm just going to keep it at the regular price. And there are none right now that want to that want me to buy from them, but I can buy materials that I might not have from other worlds uh, that I've been to already. Because that's another thing, the higher experience they are, the higher level materials they will sell to you then you can see how long it's going to take for all of these characters to uh finish their quests and i'll show you some of like the stuff my people have um gold or orange whichever one you want to call this is the highest tier and you can see their stats right up here and whenever you don't have one in a mission it'll show you all the gear you have for that so if i wanted to hit his wand it'll show me all the weapons i have or all the uh chest armor i have and it'll let me do a side-by-side -side comparison of their stats to see which one i want to give them for the most part they have the highest stuff that they can have to their level because some of these they can't wear yet because I had prestige them and they're not at the right level requirement. I'm gonna get rid of you. Bam. Anything green or gray, I try to get rid of basically as soon as I can. The reason I make green or gray stuff, well, it all depends. Because you could have a, uh, I'm gonna call it orange. You could have a, or legendary, I'll call it legendary because that's pretty sure what it is. You could have a legendary base item. 
Um, that depends on your craftsman skill. Each one, the letter over here to the left, the letter, the number over here to the left is their level. And you actually level them up by having them create things. The more intense things they create, um, like the things that cost the most to create. So creating cloth isn't going to get me much experience. Whereas creating this tunic here will. The higher their experience level, the better um, chances you will have of getting higher rarity items. And then that's true for these guys over here. Uh, the eight enchanter is always kind of a gamble. You can re-enchant some of your items. Um, I have nothing to lose by enchanting him. And I could choose whether I want to improve its stats, its prefix, or its suffix. So... If you come over to the stock, and let me get to one of my legendary items here. This is a keen uh, venom knife plus two. So the prefix is keen and the suffix is a plus two. Um, I could take this. Where was it? It was this Adam and Longsword. Bam. And say I want to improve its uh, prefix. It'll take 960 gold and one topaz. And then he'll start improving that in three minutes. I'll get my improved weapon. And I can choose to keep it or sell it. Before I send these out on their mission, I'm ha having these guys fight bosses. Bam, I had to revive him. And the bosses take multiple people to fight. That's the only reason I'm able to have this many people going at the same time in the same world because most worlds uh, don't have enough for the amount of characters I have but this world happens to have two or three bosses I believe um, just two and sometimes there's a weekly boss uh, that's on a random world and sometimes he'll, it'll have three bosses but I'm gonna have him fight him or you you're the cleric so you're gonna be in the back bam I'm sending him out on his fight. It's going to be a shorter video. Not as much to show you here as in Doken Battle because everything's time-based. But this is a really fun game. It's completely free to play for the... Everything in it's completely free to play. You can buy pretty much everything with the in-game money. Except they do have a few basically DLC packs like this scribe here. He's with the newest update. And it's $3.99. I don't think it's just for the scribe. I think it might be just for the pack. Because um, it's not expensive. Nothing in this game is super expensive. And I've actually bought everything in the game up to the... Um, ooh, see, I can use the wand I just made to make this higher-end wand. I'm gonna make some potions real quick. And why not make a medallion? Um, everything in this game is not super expensive. Most things in the game, you don't have to pay any money to unlock any worlds unless they're in the new update. And, uh, the updates are really cheap. I think it was like five bucks for the two that I, or five bucks total for the two I bought. Or maybe it was five bucks each. I can't remember. It was a while ago. But it's not super expensive. Um, just the base gameplay is really cool you won't get the bard i think the bard you have to have one of the packs but you can get everybody else i believe yeah you get everybody else but the bard um in the free to play it's a really fun game uh let me know what you think of the game or this video in the comments down below until next time see ya